O Lord of the worlds, great creator, the almighty, the wise, you are the hearer, the knower, you created the heavens and the earth with truth, surely and that is a sign for your native American tribes, we shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom, and talk of thy power, to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts, and the glorious majesty of his kingdom, thus saith the Lord, when I shall put thee out, invader, I will cover the heaven, and make the stars their row of dark, I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light, all the bright lights of heaven will I make dark over thee, and set darkness upon thy land, saith the Lord God, hell will engulf the wicked, Amen. This is April shall ties. Native America is a covenant land, given by the Lord to his covenant people for a perpetual possession. The forgotten genocide of Native Americans on the American continent was not forgotten by God, was not forgotten by God. This is April Shall Ties, using the computer to generate this message. Why am I generating this message? There is a hidden euthanasia, a silent genocide, just to amuse or please immoral people. This is April Shall Ties, and they tried to put me down. I'm a virgin, it's not really on purpose, I'm just not married, so they tried to put me down. You could be put down, too, and you may never even see it coming. In Northern California between 1856 and 1859, white settlers killed more than a thousand Yuki Indians in Round Valley in a series of separate massacres, the death toll of which has never really been counted. There's a forgotten genocide, right here in America. Millions of Native Americans were murdered, on their native lands. It was genocide. Never, never forget. We need justice. Return these lands to the Native American tribes. All of them. The scriptures say, this is the word that the Lord has spoken, because your rage against me and your tumult is come up into my ears, therefore I will put my hook in your nose, and my bridle in your lips, and I will turn you back by the way by which you came. This is April Shall Ties, using the computer to generate this message. My brother, Rendell Barry Shall Ties, is dead. My brother, Todd Parrish Shall Ties, is dead. My niece, Celeste Shall Ties Conway, is dead. All dead, immoral people, today, are still using genocide for gain and amusement. They want me dead, too. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. They don't need a reason, but I am an unmarried virgin past 50. I survived, so they are calling me a botched kill and they want to clean up the mess and finish the job. They don't want me to have any more birthdays. They poisoned my dogs. They used COVID as an excuse to take away my job, my health insurance, my phone, my internet. They blocked my 403B money and my retirement. They cut my power. They denied my unemployment. They also attacked my vehicles, disabling them and trying to tow them, again and again. This is April Shall Ties, and I want to live, not die for any reason, for with long life the Lord will satisfy me. This is Rome, and Rome wants you to die in the arena. Rome is still here. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Muslims, Russians, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on their border every day. Never, never forget. Never. The scriptures say, They shall not be ashamed that wait for me, saith the Lord. I will contend with him that contendeth with thee. This is the end of the thousand years tribulation. Psychic predators are using hypnosis and the science of the mind to control and manipulate you. The Bible calls them demons. This is April Shall Ties, and I am not happy, and will not be happy, until every demon is removed from the earth. Lucifer and his minions must be cast into the lake of hellfire and brimstone that ascends forever and ever. I pray daily for the Lord to destroy the destroyers. This is April Shall Ties, using the computer to generate this message. Life is precious. No one wants to be put down. Rome will put you down. Euthanize you. 
murder you. This is Rome, and Rome treats life very cheaply. The Bible says that by their fruits, you shall know them. The fruits of Rome are violence and genocide. Rome even devalues innocent unborn children. Millions and millions of innocent babies are being aborted every year in a hidden genocide. The term birth control really means killing the baby. It is death for the baby. Don't let Rome convince you that you should kill your baby. Respect all life. Read the Bible. Do not eat meat. Do not have sex. Practice psychic self-defense. You cannot afford to let Rome win, or you could be next on its list of people to kill. This is April Shaltai's. On December 16, 1773, the Sons of Liberty in Boston, Massachusetts, disguised themselves as Native Americans and boarded three British sea vessels in an act of rebellion against the British. The colonists destroyed the cargo of the East India Company, said to be a shipment of tea. As far as the British government was concerned, the colonists were committing treason, treason, with harsh penalties. Why did the colonists frame Native Americans? The Native Americans were not involved. The colonists used disguises to look like they were Mohawk warriors when they weren't. They were seeking to blame Native Americans in an act that has been called more cowardly than patriotic. I call it intentional, planned, targeted genocide. What happened to the Native American tribes in retribution for the Boston Tea Party? Were whole tribes wiped out, with none left alive to tell? History remains ominously silent. Silent, because the injustice done to Native Americans was ignored. The Boston Tea Party, it was not a party for innocent Native Americans. We need justice. We need to return all of the lands taken from Native American tribes, all of them. This is April Shaltai's, using the computer to generate this message. We're in Rome. Rome is into conquest and killing. It does not convert. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Native Americans, and more. Rome did not convert to Christianity, but kept its triumvirate and renamed it Trinity. Rome is still here. Rome is into violence and genocide. I am a victim of genocide. They killed my brothers and my niece, and came after me, too. Protect yourself. Psychic predators are using hypnosis against you constantly. They call themselves practitioners of the science of the mind. The Bible calls them demons. Practice psychic self-defense against predators. Do not have sex. Do not eat meat. Read the Bible. Respect all life. Look at the sigil. Hebrew reads from right to left. Think, hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments of the Lord this day, that ye may learn them, and keep, and do them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. He said, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. Thou shalt have none other gods before me. The ritual is complete. This is April Shaltai's, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. I survived, but you might not, if you fall into their trap. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral plane conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not crack jokes or hold conversations with you. That's a human, impersonating a deity, a spirit, a fairy, a guardian angel. On the astral plane, these people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practiced genocide against Jews, Africans, Native Americans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane. Stay in God's word. The scriptures say, the revelation of the book, without a doubt, is from the Lord of the universe. This is April Shaltai's. In the book, The Seventh Sense, The Secrets of Remote Viewing is told by a psychic spy for the US military, by Lynn Buchanan. The author admits that the CIA was using controlled remote viewing, acronym CRV, on targets. CRV makes it possible for them to see and know what targets are doing from a distance, and even control a target's thoughts and actions. When caught, the CIA claimed it declassified and discontinued the program, but it really just changed the name from Sender Lane to Sunstreak and continued operations in secret. The military is using the science of the mind against you. You are not free in America. This is Rome. You are not safe.